How's it? Today is March 29th. Um, it's Monday. And I am doing my openers as I am five days out from the first meet in over a year. Um, last Friday, so last Friday was a morning session. Last Friday I was attempting to go to 95 and um, 125. Um, at the time I didn't know what my openers would be. But um, I think we're opening at 90 and 120. I did talk with Steve earlier today, and, and um, that's sort of what he was projecting me to, to open at. And after today's workout, I think that that is a, a really good spot to start at. Um, Friday was terrible. I hit 90 and 120, both very, very, very difficult. If there was an RPE, it would be over 10. Um, that's not possible. It would be 10. It would be RPE 10. But today, it, things felt a lot better. Felt like they were moving a lot better. I felt stronger for some reason. Um, I don't see a reason why I would feel stronger today than on Friday. Friday, I, I was a little bit better fed as far as like Thursday to Friday versus um, Sunday to today. But it is what it is, and I will take it. I also weighed in at like 164 this morning. So I am solid four pounds overweight maybe five pounds overweight depending on um, how much water I drink and everything so I am actually doing a water cut I'm a day late um, on that protocol that my good friend Alex has sent me um, two years ago but I know it works and so I'm just gonna sort of do whatever I can to to catch up to it uh, I think in the past the most I've lost is like nine pounds um, it wasn't very very intentional to lose nine pounds but I did lose that much and hopefully this time I won't lose that much I just need I just need you know like five pounds gone but today is about two and a half gallons of water plus five grams of salt extra um, like in addition to the things that I would normally ingest and so I pissed I don't know how many times I pissed a lot today but uh, aside from that training today felt really good felt really solid as far as my my lifts the snatches were a lot better than they were on friday the clean and jerk was a little better still very difficult just given the intensity of the lift that i i'm going for i think that um this is just sort of very bottom line like very low baseline for what i'm capable of you can see here that these two attempts at 90 are so here's my first one they're very easy I don't know how much more I can put on there but 90 itself is very easy you see on both of those lifts they are not the most technically proficient and uh, I've definitely been better at 90 before but they are schmoovin as some people like to say um, and so today was just two attempts normally I do three but Steve um, sent me a text of doing um, two today so two plus front squats pull-ups and, and some abs so I'm doing two at 90 and then two at 120 as well um, nothing too much else to say I think the warm-ups for the snatches were solid and then the warm-ups for the clean and jerks were just meh that's how they always feel I'm never I'm the type of person that when I warm up I stay warm and I don't really need a lot of um, extra reps to to work through technique or to warm up my muscles as they are already warm you know um, so here's 80 this is about right when I start doing powers to fulls and then after 80 I'll do only full cleans um, and then always one jerk per set uh, I feel very solid with the jerk. I haven't felt like this in, in quite a while. My upper back, as far as pain goes, is there's no pain present uh, on the lifts, whereas a few weeks ago, um, I did feel some amount of pain there, and so I'm pretty happy with how, how, how it's feeling. Um, yeah, here's 110. Here's the last one before my 120. Speed is there. I just feel like when I pull from the floor everything feels heavy but once I get it onto my shoulders it feels I feel very strong and very secure similar thing with the jerk here and it 
those and uh, those feelings just intensify at 120 um, which makes sense right because it's, it's 10 kilos heavier but like I said from pulling from the floor feels very heavy and once I get it into the correct position then my my technique and sort of the strength that I've developed in my legs over the last couple of weeks um, pulls everything together um, I wasn't very happy with that it just it felt a little forward in the jerk but the cleans were significantly better than Friday both of the cleans and this jerk I think was a little better than that than that first one if I recall yeah a little bit more upright um, but yeah I was I was dying I, I, sh I couldn't breathe very well but it, I'm training with the mask on because that's how we're gonna have to lift on Saturday and I respect that so, so what's up Bailey I respect that, and so I'm just doing my best to sort of get used to that. After that, I do my front squats up to 125, which is 275 pounds, just um, three sets of three. So I'll, I did mention earlier that the upper back didn't feel any pain during the lifts, and normally it feels a little bit of pain during the lifts and a lot of pain during the front squats, but today there was no pain in the, in the lifts and some amount of pain in the front squat. So I know that that upper back pain's not completely gone and I, and I need to remember that as I'm moving forward. I need to continue doing my stretches. Um, I think that it's, it's really a good positive sign because I've had this pain for well over a year and sort of finally resolving it is um, positive for me, right? And so after that, I did some wide grip pull-ups, but I did one muscle up um, here just because I wanted to, and there was a bunch of CrossFit people doing their um, 21.3 or whatever, which has like 30 muscle ups at one point, and um, I was only going to do one. I tried to try a bunch to cycle a couple so that I could chain them together, but I don't know how to. I'm not coordinated enough. I think if I practice, it would be a little bit better. But yeah, I'm five days out. I am pretty happy with how today went. Um, not much else to say. I feel like I don't think I can do 115, 150, but um, maybe in the next couple months it'll be it'll be there. Thank you for watching. Shoots.